corner, a rising superstar in the lightweight division, undefeated from Southern California. Here is Ryan Garcia. In 22 professional fights, his record outstanding with 21 victories, including 16 knockouts. Just one defeat. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, by way of Punta Bato City, Philippines. Here is the reigning NABO lightweight champion, Ruthless Romero Duda. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing royal blue with red. He weighed in. Also 135 pounds in 18 professional fights. He is perfect. 18 victories, no defeats. 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the fighting pride of Victorville, California, the undefeated King Rai. On that card was Romero Duno. Garcia at that time did not want that fight. Chris Maddox, as you mentioned earlier, Duno suddenly became like the most dangerous man in boxing because Garcia did not want that fight for that night. Now he gets that fight. It was kind of wild because I would bet most boxing fans, except the hardcores, didn't know too much about Romero Duno. After the mid-September dust-up, most people did know of Romero Duno. This became an anticipated thing, but Brian, this is a simple clash of styles. Romero Duno needs the fight to be on the inside to win. Ryan Garcia wants to keep it at a distance. And you see immediately, Sergio, how fast Garcia's right hand is. Garcia, and he's able to land already. Garcia has some of the fastest hands in boxing, especially with that left jab and the left uh, hook. Garcia, last time we saw him on the zone, it was the Canelo Rocky fielding card in December. And he had a spectacular KO there as he throws in a quick hook. He's got speed, power. Looks, charisma, the whole package. Can he harness all of that and put it all together and be one of the top stars in the sport? We'll see. Yeah, he reminds you a lot of Oscar De La Hoya. He had everything going from the looks and the hooks. And, you know, Oscar De La Hoya had that gold medal that springboarded him. Ryan Garcia doesn't have that. He was a very good amateur fighter. So he has got the pedigree behind him. Multiple junior national titles over 200 amateur wins. Hard right hand that landed and shook Duno. Garcia able to land that right now. He's down. He goes. Right hand and a hook. And Duno is hurt. Duno is hurt bad. Wow, it's over. Do it against a very tough fighter like Romero Duno, who's never been knocked out. He has never been knocked out. Do it in that type of fashion. Incredible. And it was a thudding right hand that it looked like Duno blocked, yet it still hurt Duno as he got rocked, and here it is again. Huh. It had to be an accumulation of it, or maybe that first right hand, and then he goes down. There was a right hook before all that that I've seen land in there. Ryan Garcia put everything behind that right hook, and that right there I just think was a... Uh, Oh, that's the left hook Ooh, that did it. Lancing left hook, there it is. Didn't seem like as much as the right hand, but that just paralyzed him. The right hand stunned wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 38 seconds, round number one. Referee Tony Weeks stops this bout. Your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated, and now the new WBC Silver and NBO lightweight champion, oh, KO. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here you go. Right. Right.